This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! No, I think Keiji needs a positive male role model in his life to teach him to be a man. Keiji, iru? Yeah, he's probably dead. Hi, Keiji's mom. Mom, don't ask. それより何ごめんね。母さんちょっと頭が痛くて、お夕飯作れそうにないの。だから申し訳ないんだけど、お父さんと一緒に表に立てる。いや、this <laughs> <laughs> Talk's gonna get extended. <laughs> this is gonna be an awkward car ride. Dad quickly got the car ready. He must be hungry. He really only moves so energetically when it's time to eat. Well, he's a he's a man. Oh yeah, steering wheel on the other side. <laughs> if you say Hooters, this is gonna be awkward. My dad usually only complains about things. For him to actually praise something is unexpected. I wonder what kind of place it is that he'd rank it three stars. As one who seeks the way of the gourmand, I, Keiji Maibara, am genuinely intrigued. The headlights of the car cut through the early darkness of the Hinamizawa night and carved, uh, carved a straight path towards town. Yeah! I was pondering where such a gem of a restaurant could be hidden away. It was shockingly the family restaurant right by the station. <laughs> We're going to Rainforest Cafe? Yes! <laughs> the, wor the words Angel Mort were written on a very family restaurant-esque cartoonish logo. It had the air of a girl-oriented all-you-can-eat cake buffet rather than a proper restaurant. Come to think of it, I hadn't. There's been some times I've traveled to faraway towns to eat, but returning only so far as Okinomaiya Station, there was really no reason to dine out. Home was just a stone's throw away, after all. I see. That was the reason I never noticed it before. We stopped the car at the restaurant's parking lot. It seemed like business is booming. There's quite a few cars parked here. But what really amazes me are the license plates. There's a lot of them that can't be from this area. Fukuyama, Nagayo, uh, I did not pronounce that right. Well, that's fine. Chiba? Saitama? Opening up my mental geography book, I calculated how long it would have taken to get here via the major highways. <laughs> what is up with this? It's just Rainforest Cafe. It's pretty good, but, like... <laughs> Rainforest Cafe is a legend, Keiji. Have you ever wanted to eat next to really loud animatronic gorillas? I know I have. Following my dad, I climbed the steps and entered the building. Wait a second. Isn't this the place that Uishi took us to in the first chapter? Wait, is this the Hooters? Why is our dad taking us to Hooters? This is very awkward. Of all the restaurants, Dad, why did you pick Hooters? I mean, it's a, it's better than Twin Peaks, but that's a low bar. The bell attached to the door clattered as we entered, and a waitress soon greeted us. After confirming our party size and whether we wanted a smoking or non-smoking seat, she guided us inside. Oh, that's something I don't miss from the 80s. <laughs> Remember when you had to specify you didn't want harmful smoke in the area? Dad ordered two of the daily specials. Uh, are they parfaits? It seemed that they were ready-made, so there wasn't much of a wait at all until our meals were brought to us. The taste was, uh, no offense to Dad, not so different from your run-of-the-mill family restaurant. Oh, yeah, well, Hooters, you don't go to Hooters for the food, if you get my drift. They're not making their money off of their quality food. Oh, no. Keiji's dad is a perv, too. He's married, but he still wants to sneak out and go to Hooters because the wife is sick. No! Bruh, this is so... WHY IS EVERYBODY A PERVERT?! WHY?! Ugh. Ugh, I see. It may just be... 
that the food here might be nothing more than average. The demographic of the customers was pretty much all young men. That's Hooters for you! They call itself a family restaurant, but there wasn't a single table with a family. Yet, yeah, no one brings their family to Hooters. And yet it was packed. The parking lot was filled with cars from all corners of the country. How sleazy are these outfits that people are driving across the countries? I know sex sells, but come on. If they didn't come far and wide to eat this completely me mediocre food, then there's only one other reason. Dad flagged down a nearby waitress. Ye gads, how dare you have to wait for your food. Uh, um... I knew it was Hooters! Wow, that is one skimpy outfit. This is ridiculous. Uh-huh. Sure, Keiichi's dad and hi, Mion. So this is her part-time job. Uh... Yuck. Better it's a different green-haired girl. I'm gonna regret this, but what does this outfit look like? Ugh. That's somehow worse. That's probably the least uncomfortable version of the outfit. That's the least uncomfortable version of the outfit, so we're doing this one. The apparently rookie waitress run, ran off flustered. Yeah, me on 16, so this is Twin Peaks. Wow. Uh, can we, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'd rather be at Hooters right now. Dad? The fact that he's married and doing this. No! No, they're not. Wow! The only likable character in the- The only two likable characters in this are Rika and Keiichi's mom. Eh, I was gonna say and the police officer, but he also went to her rooms. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. I should not have started playing this. Did he- Did we punch her dad? No, 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 you know, justified! Oh, oh yeah, you read them for the articles. Oh yeah, this is literally the Hooters equivalent of I read it for the articles. Actually, I guess that would be... No, the food's really good. No, it must be a different girl with green hair. Yeah, coming to Hooters alone is embarrassing, but coming with your teenage son? Oh no, that's that's perfectly normal. No, I don't! You can tell I'm upset because my voice is rising by like four octaves. Can I eat with Psychopath Rena instead? My father has always had a bad habit of trying to hide his embarrassment using incomprehensible nonsense as a smokescreen. I want to believe that this weirdness won't be genetic. Oh, KG, it's way too late for that. Continuing his one-sided rambling, my father stood up and headed for the washroom. Bring on the blood and gore and guts and blood and... Creepy with this and gore and darkness and blood. I want that. With him gone, I was left alone in the booth. Finally, at this time, a feeling of embarrassment welled up inside me. I had nothing to do but go beat red with shame. The waitress from before returned, her eyes alternating between the order slip at the table and the table. Uh, I know. Oh yeah! In this art style, they actually move their mouths. Hi. Arriving at my seats, she hesitantly tried to say something. A more veteran waitress offered some advice from over her shoulder. Just calm down and say sorry for the wait. Right, right, just like that. Do your best! Whispering that into her ear, the veteran waitress left. Imagine being a veteran waitress at this restaurant. But that's the thing. I don't think there is a girl version of Hooters, because they know sex sells better for guys than it does for girls. I'm probably wrong. There's probably a restaurant there like, Hey, want to be served by shirtless guys in board shorts? Well, now you can! 
The waitress must have just been hired. With an absolute lack of confidence, she moves hesitantly and maybe even somewhat perilously. Just watching her puts me on edge. Does this dude really not recognize me, Ona? I silently watched as she placed her dessert on the... <laughs> I ordered a dessert for her! As she placed the dessert on the table with an inexperienced hand. It's just as Dad said. What incredible uniforms these are. No, they're not! They're sleazy. <laughs> no, it's not a uniform. They are literally just wearing underwear. This is like a, a really cringy cosplay. They were like a bunny girl plus a maid plus some sort of frilly outfit. All in a perfect ratio. Most certainly rather dubiously charming kind of a fashion. In any case, she in no way appeared to be a proper waitress. What should I do? I was catching glimpses of too many things. That is, I didn't know where I should look. Ugh. In Japan, they have pretty boy butler cafes where they treat girls like queens, but even that sounds uncomfortable. I've, I heard, my sister told me there were butler cafes where I'm just like, what? What is the appeal of that? Granted, I'm also asking what the appeal of maid cafes are, but deep down, I know the appeal of it. I just think it's cringe. Wearing something like that walking around the restaurant, it's as bad as it can be for digestion. Even though she was wearing the outfit, this particular waitress had no idea what to do either. The flustered state, without a doubt, should be attributed to the amount of bare skin showing rather than being new to the job. Gee, I wonder why! Both the waitress and I ma mutually avoided eye contact. What a platonically embarrassing feeling this is. Yeah! There is nothing but pure awkwardness here. I'm a customer, you know? It's alright to be more straightforward. Uh, oh, my news... What? I have... Ugh. I'm just going to stop. Oh, hey! At that moment, our eyes just happened to meet. She's like, hey, I'm coughing it now. Oh, look at me. Oh. I'm so... I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Ugh. Both of us blinked, doubting who we were looking at. What? This is... Bruh! You only just now noticed? Wow! Keiichi, eyes up here. Mion. Dayona. She's like, oh no, how did he recognize me? I'm wearing different clothes. On top of her hair being let down, she was so far removed from her usual confidence-filled attitude, I didn't realize it was her at all. Bro, she literally looks exactly the same. It was Mion. Why is she here? Does her uncle own the Hooters? Is that a different voice actress? That does not sound like Mion. Or is it just because we're in the different art style? Wait, if we go back to default art style... Come to think of it, I did hear about how the her relatives have stores in town and that she sometimes works part-time to help them. You know what? As cringy and uncomfortable as this is, at least she's not working at the brothel. Oh, the nervous feeling I had dissipated in an instant. Knowing that this was Mion, there was no reason to feel that way. Well, actually, my animal instinct tells me that the power balance between Mion and myself has been turned upside down. That's right. I am a customer. I'm always right. My position is superior to hers. The humiliation from today's penalty game was cutting through the recesses of my mind. I want to hear what if she sounds different in this version. There really is a god. I'm pretty sure uh, God doesn't want you eating at Hooters. I'm pretty sure that was in the Book of Romans. For him to grant me this opportunity for revenge. Noticing the flames of vengeance burning in my eyes, Mion took a step back. She sounds different. I confirmed my preemptive strike was a clean hit. There's no mistaking that Mion is currently defenseless. While confirming my attack was successful, I simultaneously lined up the combo. Bro, are you really going to do be like this? I know she forced you in a maid outfit, but you don't have to pay back lechery with debauchery. No, you should, you should, you really should have gotten a job at the Dairy Queen. Is this all right, Keiji Maibara? Aren't you taking this a little too far? Yeah. Even if it's payback for that humiliation during the day, isn't this too much? And the worst part is I am not using any of these as thumbnails. 
I cannot use anything like this for a thumbnail. Even if this game is rated M, the thumbnails still have to be rated G. Shut up, Logic! To pay back Mio in tenfold is a chance you'll hardly ever get. <laughs> you, she is just a huge disappointment. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, wait, we've already seen that. Never mind. Bruh. You're a very good. That's a different voice actress, I think. Either that or the voice actress is just real talented at sounding like very embarrassed. Imagine this actually isn't Mion. And he's just like harassing a random girl and gets the police called on him. Oh, are you Rena now? Okay, no, that's that's Mion. That's literally Mion. She recognizes the inside joke. Entering a version of Rena's cute mode, blood spewing from my nose. I like a waterfall. I was going to until I had no regrets. Imagine his dad comes. No, no, his dad would be like, "Oh yeah, Kei, she ogled the girl. Yeah." <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh man, I was going to complete this verbal humiliation, but I mean revenge for today's events. <laughs> Seems that Mion's neural circuits had completely shorted from the embarrassment. I might have teased her a little too much, or so I thought. But such a meek Mion is something you hardly ever see, so this is good for now. Leaving aside what exactly was good. So, man, I'm coming to Hooters every week. <laughs> DX, Jiminy Cricket left this situation a long time ago. <laughs> He's like, you're going to Hooters? No way! I'm out! <laughs> Actually, Jiminy Cricket was kind of a perv, so never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I could see her being like, I can't work here, or like, oh yeah, Kate, she wants me to work here. Well, turning bright red, Mion finally spit out the words that were lodged in her throat. Uh-huh. Even though you know all the inside jokes and stuff, and you look exactly like her? I guess you sound a little different, though. What? I was taking it back at Mion's confusing words. Mion uh-huh. Yeah. Shion, that's such a different name, yeah. Mm-hmm. My eyes unconsciously widened with surprise from this brazenly crazy talk. There ain't no way Mion had a twin, and we didn't learn about it in the first timeline. Unless the difference between Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 is that in this timeline, Mion has a twin. I could see them going either way with this. This is either the dumbest excuse ever, or it's like, Huh, you thought it was a dumb excuse, but no, she does have a twin! It's brazenly crazy talk. Mion probably thinking that there was no way such a far-fetched excuse would work, turned bright red while fidgeting nervously. Shion? Sonozaki? Shion? Hi. <laughs> they even changed their name to that, uh-huh. I can't imagine why. But... Yeah, yeah, she was interacting like us as just she knew us. So, so, sure. Ah, a little bit of a cringe worthy excuse, that is. But when I looked at Mion's eyes, which begged me to believe her, the urge to tease completely subsided. To us, Mion had, been, had to be a leader who was normally overflowing of confidence, a guiding force. If I were to lash out at that Mion, I would have ruined something I shouldn't have. That was something I would have never wished for. So I understand. This foolishness here is something very different from the everyday Mion. That's why she's Shion. Zopka. This is my split personality, Keiichi. Mion's a psychopath and I'm not. 
She got the wink. She got the wink. She got the wink. Cool. Gee, I can't imagine why! <laughs> well, now she's self aware of that fact, now, is she? <laughs> As I unintentionally laughed aloud, Mion. No, Shion laughed aloud. Shion, that's her first day working! What a coincidence that I just happened to be dragged along to Hooters with my dad on the first day Mion works at Hooters! A little flustered after saying that, she quickly asked if it was okay to her refer to me the way the same way her sister did. Seeing that blatant quirk was so cute, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> she was reluctant to help out before now. She's like, I don't want to work at Hooters. I see. Makes sense. Anybody would be tentative doing a job they weren't used to. And yeah, uh, just as a reminder, as what was pointed out in chat earlier, uh, Mion's 15, and she's being, and she has to dress like this for her job. It's not Mion, right! <laughs> Uh-huh. I know what she's trying to say. Okay, so he's like, he's kind of going along with her dumb excuse. I guess that's probably the classy thing to do. Although the real classy thing to do would be to not be at Hooters! <laughs> Then again, he was dragged here by his dad, so there's not a whole lot he could have done about that. Shion asked, probably thinking she misheard me. Shion, like ran off and does, spaced out and turned bright red. Hang on, I have to make a phone call. Boop, 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 boop. Hi, Mom. It's 8 p.m. and we're at Hooters. What?! <laughs> At least for this moment, I felt like she, the Shion character actually existed. Because there was no way that the Mion I knew had this side to her. At that moment, we realized the more veteran wait waitress was waving at us from across the room. I was her first customer and she can already take a break? Wow. Uh, hi. Mion finally returned to her senses. It seemed as if it was time for her to take her break.私はこれで噂の圭ちゃんと話せて楽しかったです。ミオンと勘違いしていじめて悪かったな。ミオンには改めて復讐すると伝えておいてくれ。わあ。わあ。わあ。わあ。わあ。わあ。わあ。わあ
ケイチの知り合いかケイチマムイズナットガナビハピウェンウィテルハーケイチマムイズナットガナビハピウェンウィテルハーケイチマムイズナットガナビハピウェンウィテルハーケイチマムイズナットガナビハピウェンウィテル
親類の数が多いらしいですからきっといろいろと都合があるに違いないのですわ For now, I learned that she had a younger twin sister named Shion, but her family structure, including her own position, still seemed very mysterious. Oh, えっと、う、うん、いるよ。うん、really? I do not believe this. Mion grew uncharacteristically red in the face, at a loss. I think she's looking at me. Yeah, babe, you know I did that. それは知らなかったですわ。どんな方なのかしら。ぜひ一度、お顔を見てみたいですね。What's the taco? I think you're a little too young to go to Hooters. Also, don't go to Hooters. 合わない方がいいよ。全然可愛くないし。Wow, she's either the most savage twin sister in the whole world, or she's very embarrassed and trying to brush this under the rug. Just like Tigger did in that one episode of New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah, not like you at all! There's either some crazy, like, this tw the twin sister is very estranged from the family and, like, does her own thing. And like she's just shunned by everyone in Hinamizawa, or if this is a complete utter lie. Why did it look like she was in such a panic? It's like she was declaring that the Shion from yesterday was actually a fake. Anyway, this is pretty funny, so I let it go on for a little while longer. Another Mion under the name of Shion. Will I be able to see her if I go to that restaurant? Don't go back to Hooters, please! I can't take it! I had a mysterious feeling as if I'd made a new friend, despite knowing that she and Mion were the same person. Ah, I can't believe you told my secret to everybody! I can't believe you told us the secret! <laughs> That's hilarious. That's my Satoko voice. An introduction to Angel Mort. Why is this like a creepy newspaper? Ooh, was there a murder at Hooters? That would make it a lot better. Reprinted from the Victorious War Photographer's Guide, April issue, Complete Conquest Analysis, Family Restaurant Chapter. What the butts is this? Now, at last, we come to the blazing hot third day. To Angel Mort, a super famous restaurant and the envy of all enthusiasts, despite being located at the remote Shishibone city of Redacted Prefecture. Why exactly do the most famous stores avoid the centers of human habitation? It can only be because it is a trial given to us by the god of war photography. It's famous locally for having the best desserts in town, but that matters not to us. If you want expensive desserts, then you can just go to a boop place or something. We aim not for sweet treats, but for sweet uniforms. Oh no. They're openly. Ugh. The fragrant aroma of sweat wafts from these obligatory waitress uniforms, creating no less than a public torture device. Yeah, it's torture for me. How could their bashful flirtation be on par with all the other restaurants with cute uniforms all across the country? War photography hunter. Away! That's the dumbest superhero I've ever heard. The smoking areas are the real superpositions. Aim for your chance at them with the tenacity of an octopus. Ryu, yesterday I failed to get a seating. Today I will aim for the ultimate golden seat, the corner box in the smoking area. That seems like the absolute worst possible place you could eat lunch. Otaku are overwhelmingly non-smokers, so I'll procure a spot in the smoking area and set up camp there, as expected of Ryu the hunter. He's saying his victory was decided the moment he chose his seat. In actuality, Ryu used the same tactic during the grand opening of Akibara's boop and success, succeeded in getting the best seats in the house. Back then, he also went early in the afternoon, just after the lunch rush, and not only did he find his target seat empty, he also obtained it with ease. By utilizing tricks such as ordering a little at a time, he effectively increased the number of opportunities for engagement, carefully scoping out his chance for a picture. This is literally one of the creepiest things I've read. When I said I wanted a creepy game, it didn't mean this kind of creepy. Dear Lord. But, as if cursed by that from the day before, the god of war photography did not smile upon him. Good. After suffering successive firm defeats until 3pm, he finds no chance of coming his way. And after 4pm, a man began to take his orders, as though he had been seen, uh, seen through. It is the rule of a hunter to withdraw, with grace once marked. Ryu, my aim was perfect, but the fork technique I used at 2.30 seemed to have backfired. Maybe they were wary, since I sat in the booth and left my bag on the floor. Maybe, perhaps the hidden camera in the bag trick is already an old hat. 
If there were two-digit EGs involved for sticking there half the day, I'd have a high encounter rate. I am mortified. Even so, he got a few pieces of gold. As to be expected from the hunter. This is so disgusting. He obtained the nice angle, despite lamenting his failure. He is an artisan. More surprisingly, though, is that this uniform conquest across Japan has yielded not a single arrested person. Nobody got arrested for creeping on the underage girls at Hooters. This is a sad, sick world we live in. What an amazing start for the hunter who brags about having been to approximately half of the total prefectural police stations in the country. That thing the day before. The day before, our hunter took on the shrine, shrine maiden cuisine redacted in Nagoya. His hunter spirit showed through zo too zealously, and as soon as he entered the store he had been seen through, placed in a booth and waited on by the head priest. Despite waiting half a day, the much-anticipated shrine maidens appeared only at the time of his first order. A seriously huge blunder for Hunter. HOW LONG IS THIS GOING ON FOR?! This is not important! And if this is important, then that's bad! Now then, here we have the giveaway of the Hunter's original photographs that always receive such high praise. We present one passionate reader with free all you can eat low angle pictures of the Angel Moore and uniforms chosen by Hunter himself. This is disgusting. With such blazing hot pictures, you two could become a war photographer today. I remember back in the day when being a war photographer meant taking photos of a WAR! Not going to Hooters and taking creepy photos of underage girls without their permission! And by the way, it would still be creepy if they, you did have their permission. Okay. Well. You know? I don't think I can play anymore tonight. I have to work tomorrow, and that was very many kinds of uncomfortable, so... We'll save there. The end of that chapter two. We are at, oh, we ended at the end of chapter two of chapter two. Oh, you know that's that's great. All right, well that was the start of chapter two of Higurashi when they cry. Hopefully we get to the murder stuff next stream, which will also be at Sunday at. Uh, I'll probably still be streaming at 8 p.m. Although if, if 7 p.m. works better for people, I might take a poll. Then I I would be willing to stream an hour earlier then. So I guess I'll keep people posted. Otherwise, Backyard Hockey returns on uh, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. So thanks for watching. It was great chatting with you all. Great getting some witty banter back and forth. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night. And God bless everybody.